my preference is for simplicity, purity of design, and probably mostly because I'm not that avid a gardener, to do stuff that's really simple. So here, up on the uh, deck of my studio in downtown Toronto, I have Ipe wood from Brazil, spelled I-P-E, which is uh, not from old growth forest, I made sure of that, but it is very dense and very strong. When the deck was being built, it took five uh, drill bits because the wood was so dense that the drill bits kept breaking when they were putting the screws into the deck. But this is, has an IM pay vibe to it. All you see here are some grasses and geraniums and pots. That's it. It's um, maintenance free, basically. I water the plants once in a while and I uh, take the heads off the dried up ones and I've, I've got uh, color and simplicity in plant material from May till early November. It's really very pleasant. I frankly feel very much at home when I'm sitting up here on this very uh, long and elegant deck that looks out over the city like some kind of a stage set. Across the street from me I have Victorian gabled homes from the 1880s and surrounding me are treetops. This is the last neighborhood in the very center of the metropolis that has trees going back a hundred years. This is the Grange neighborhood. Many of these homes were built in the late 19th century and many of the trees date from that time and we're hoping that they'll still have some life left in them over the next 15 or 20 years. I'm watching the city sprout mushroom-like into a new kind of Singapore or, or Shanghai, uh, it really is remarkable. Uh, but where I got lucky is I have the top of a Japanese maple right in front of me. I've got an old chestnut tree. I've got an ash. I've got maple. I mean, these are gifts, these trees. And to have this in the very heart of the metropolis is amazing. And I don't have, the only thing I have to do is sweep all the leaves out in October, November. I make light of this, but I, if you believe in reincarnation, I may have been Japanese in another life. My quest and my work has always been for clarity and simplicity. And believe it or not, it's a lot harder sometimes to create a painting with that kind of purity of design than it is to get into all the complex, multi-layering, textured stuff that we have inherited from our daddies, the group of seven. So that's really been um, a major factor in my aesthetic is the Japanese uh, sense of design. And I think for some reason I get a lot of comfort from that simplicity. I didn't really get into an interest in gardening until I bought a summer home up on Lake Simcoe and I got into Ontario wildflowers and uh, encouraging things like milkweed pods and uh, brown-eyed Susans and all that sort of thing. When I'm at the lake I'm exposed to a form of wilderness. I often call it faux wilderness, F-A-U-X, because I am surrounded by suburban year-round homes with young families, etc. But my place was an ice house built in the 20s. And it had a rocky shoreline with a lot of natural plant material there. And for me, one of the great joys is just sitting with my eyes half closed on my little terrace right at the water's edge looking at the butterflies coming to the milkweed pods. The monarch butterflies seem to love that. And I get hummingbirds and I get blue jays, once in a while a cardinal. So it's a kind of St. Francis of Assisi vibe that there I am with all these natural, beautiful um, happenings that only really exist from mid-June through mid-September after that. Uh, winter starts, fall sets in and it's glorious with the leaves changing colors. But that's my area as opposed to this which is pure manufactured simplicity in the heart of the metropolis in a leafy neighborhood. When you get up to the lake it's a lot more wilderness. The goldenrod is in the wind, uh, the, the daylilies. I mean there's so many natural Ontario plants up there that I just live with and I let them be. And I love that. My neighbors are all into mowed lawns and petunias, uh, but not me. The joy of coming up to the cottage on the weekends in the summer and seeing new stuff appear, it's like greeting me, that was pretty exciting. But I am not, and I have to repeat this, I'm not a very educated gardener, nor one that uh, is into it in a 
encyclopedic way. I just enjoy watching nature do its thing. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own idea of what makes a garden, as you can see.